What's up YouTube? I'm Ewolf and today I'm bringing you guys another unboxing video. In this video, I'll be showing you the Mazer Type X HS909 headphones. These headphones have a built-in microphone and an audio control. They're made by e 3 lu or E-Blue and uh, you better keep on watching if you want to see what's inside that box. So, let's start off by taking a look at the box. It's made by e 3 lu or E-Blue. Their website is www.e-3lue.com. The model number is Mazer Type XHS909. One of the main features of this headset is that it's lighted with LED lights and they're blue colored. It looks really cool. There's a built-in microphone. The cord is made out of the blue material, which looks really heavy duty to protect your wires. Here you got an audio control dial for the microphone and the lighting switch, and there's the volume knob. On the side of the box you got some more ching chong 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 ching, and behind still some Chinese writing. If you guys uh, started playing sleeping dogs like me, maybe you're more accustomed to the ideograms of the Chinese language, but I'm not that good yet. So there's really nothing much I can say about the box since I don't understand, so I guess I'll just have to open it and find out. I don't have my knife with me today, so I'll be using my fingers, and once again, I'll be fast forwarding through this part. Okay, I got it. To me, uh, this purchase was a little bit more about comfort more than performance. Uh, in fact, this is only a stereo headset. It's not 5.1 or 7.1 Dolby Digital. Okay, let's pull them out. Let's see what we got here. We got the headphones, the long wire. Let's just take out the middle audio control out and get rid of this. So my first thought is that they look kind of cool. If I touch the earphone itself, it seems quite comfortable. It's made with, uh, with some kind of material. It's soft. And this is all going to light up as soon as I plug it in. Here's the little mic says pro gaming on it here's the command dial or a little remote that's a button to toggling the mic on or off and this must be used to toggle the light not sure if this is a little speaker and this is the knob to toggle the volume but you can't push it to turn it on or off as you can see, the cord seems really rigid, it's flexible, and it's made out of material. So this has three inputs. The USB is used to power the lights. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack audio jack in, and another 3.5 millimeter jack for the microphone input. Then let's see if there's something else in that box. So I'm guessing this might be the warranty or something. And this should be a little instruction manual with some kind of diagram. Doesn't say much. Basically it's just headphones so you don't really need a master's degree to figure it out, you know? Even if I don't know Chinese, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll get along. It's about time I try these on. I'll go test them out and tell you how they perform. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, guys. Alright, so I'm just going to test the headphones out to give you a little feedback about them. Here's my YouTube channel. I'm just going to pick uh, one of the music videos I did. 
put these on. So I'll be setting this at the maximum volume up on YouTube and on my desktop. Because I'm going to turn this knob all the way down. And right now my first thoughts are that the maximum volume isn't that high. There's a lot of noise cancellation because I can't hear anything around me. Um, sound quality is alright, but it's lacking a bit of bass. I'm just going to show you the lighting settings on the headphones right now. So if I press on this button, you see the LED flash? Well, actually it's stable right now. The second setting is for the light to flash. And the third setting is just off. So once again, I hope you like this review. Keep on watching, leave me a comment, check out my other videos. Yo, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. E-Wolf. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah.